tattoo. So you are the first Tibetan tattoo artist I've met. How long have you been working here in Dharamsala? In Dharamsala, I think uh, four years. And I'm just curious, how are tattoos perceived in most of the Tibetan culture? Um, I think uh, all the people not okay because they think uh, one thing is not uh, nice and uh, one thing that looks, you know, if you have tattoo, um, it's kind of like a bad person. Really? And one thing uh, from religion, they say, if you want to you die, and um, the one lamas if, um, pray you something for you know like a next life figure out, and they cannot find your sword stuff, so they say like that. But now young generations like ask why you know to stop uh, the tattoos stop you know like uh, this problem, and uh, uh, why tattoo makes a difference, and then question many questions, then the answers are very very less. Mm -hmm. So now young generations don't very really much care. So especially I don't care. So that. Well, you are an artist. In more, you've done painting. You play music. You're mm -hmm. a tattoo artist. How many instruments do you play? Tell me a little bit about your music. Um, so I started music. Um, uh, I'm 11 years old because. Uh, when I was 11 years old, my mother passed away, so I had to stop. Uh, my uncles cannot send to my school and uh, have to stop to school. Mm -hmm. And I um, used the sheep keeper, the stuff. And then I nothing can do up there, you know, like uh, when I use moment, there's no school or anything. And then I start, uh, they have a bamboo. And it's not a bamboo, but it's kind of bamboo. And trying to make a hold and uh, really try. And then one day it's coming something sound, like a bird sound, these things. And then when I'm 13 years old, I, I start to play um, sound of a sound. And then continue is go. And then, you know, like uh, I can play many songs. That's, so that is my beginning in music. And the second is I play mandolin. And third, I really learn uh, guitar. So other, I can play eight instruments most of myself. So you taught yourself totally. Mm -hmm. And then you were um, a teacher as well for different arts, yes? Noblenka? Noblenka, I used to... Uh, uh, I've been a hairdressing, and that's I'm not teaching myself, and uh, I'm teaching a dance and music. Okay. So, living here in Dharamsala, can you explain a little bit. The way that I found you was a lot of my friends said they wanted to get tattoos and they mm -hmm. wanted to get free Tibet tattoos. And uh, my friend Tianzin said, Oh, you need to meet my friend Tamdin. He will do free Tibet tattoos for free. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because uh, the tattoo is and not on the paper, I mean, so it's the skin. Mm. So, this is a whole life, you know, like, uh, if one of you down tattoo, it's down, you know, like, uh, it's one of you rest, these things, it's difficult. But that's showing you really strong for, you know, like, um, free to bed. It's not, um, you know, when you talk. But some people, you know, talk free to bed, and tomorrow is forget. But you from here, if you always left that, you know, you really, like, um, mm. you promise something. So that's, of course, you know, like, uh, even I didn't do a free Tibet, so so I appreciate. I can do t tattoo. So what I can do something, that's can I can do for free, because not many people can do tattoo. So I can do. So that's for Tibetan. Then, then it's free. Okay. What about um, for people who don't know or understand? You've lived in exile for eight years. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about when you lived in Tibet? How much did you really know about politics, and how much more did you learn when you came into exile? You're talking about the inside Tibet? Mm. When, in when you were in Tibet. Okay, I know my grandmother and grandfather tell always, 1940-something, they have my town, you know, like a, lots of men wanted and killed in China, by Chinese, and the Chinese uh, armies come from uh, 
near the Beijing server. You know, that's only for you know like a, you know just go kill it and just come and kill. You know, before when I was, you know, so so hard life. You know, this thing. So we start you know, it's a happen something, but they don't tell you or. You have to, you know, like uh, fighting for freedom or, you know, these things that they never talk because they don't want to happen. And they said, you are a good life than us. So be, you know, like a uh, study. That's it. So I know little, but uh, when I came to Nepal, then I saw they have a really nice, you know, like something colorful there. A few days I didn't know that the Tibetan flag. And then one day I said, Oh, really nice two line, you know, like then they say, oh, that's Tibetan flag. Oh, Tibetan have flag. And then start, I know, you know, have, when they happen, oh, Tibetan have own country. Then I start, no. Mm -hmm. But in Tibetan, difficult. How long did it take you to get, you were Amdo, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, how did you get from Amdo to Nepal to Dharamsala? Oh, long story. <laughs> but in my my camp village to Lhasa, mm. it's a three day, three day, three nights. Mm. And the first we beginning of uh, the bus in the city, and the one guys are like cheating us, you know, like uh, then they said the ticket to go to uh, Lhasa, mm. and then the on the way when we see ticket, ticket is not the Lhasa, it's like uh, less than halfway. And they drop in middle night, you know. Like then we jump, uh, you know, like a backside in the uh, bus to Lhasa. Almost called, you know, like that. But we jump in there and then drop in Lhasa. Mm. And then we don't have nothing money there. And then we, uh, you know, three days don't have nothing food. Because whenever we first get in Lhasa, um, Lhasa all Tibetan, but the language is different. So, you know, accent, everything is different. I don't understand and nothing. So, you know, three days are really difficult to situation. And after we, um, you know, in the restaurant, the wash bowl, these things, and study cooker, and then save money come to India. So from start uh, November twenty three, and from Ikase and the two Nepal. Uh, Reception is to go uh, 43 days. 43? Mm -hmm. Walking. Okay, what is the most important thing that you think people can do to make the world a better place? Hmm. I think the best is everybody take a responsibility you know, like, uh, uh, don't uh, waste the time.